Hey everyone, so uh, in this video I'm going to be going over how to disable practice mode in your Geometry Dash level using some neat editor tricks. Uh, this will probably be the start of a new series on this channel, just because I like sharing my editor tips. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. Uh, so this is my impossible quiz level, and I'm in practice mode. So you'll notice if I place a checkpoint and then I die, it will pop this message up and then kill me. So, uh, the way I made this was actually surprisingly simple. I can't actually take credit for making this because SD Slayer found a similar design from somewhere, but I changed it up a little from there. So if I go into the editor of the quiz level, uh, I'll try to explain what exactly is going on here. You notice at the very beginning, there's two teleport portals running into each other. So you'll hit this blue one over here, which will teleport you up to this orange one, and then back down. And you'll notice there's also this red skull over here. And so these teleport portals and the skull, they all follow you as you play the level. So you'll notice they're following you throughout the whole thing. And what's essentially happening is when you die, when you respawn, you'll go back through the teleport portals. And if you touch the skull at a point that isn't the beginning of the level, then it'll realize you're in practice mode. So I believe if you look really carefully, uh, if you die in practice mode, you'll see that you actually pick up the skull. Like that. And then it triggers it. So now I'll show you how to make it, but before, a huge disclaimer, don't put this in your levels unless it's like a game level or something. Because disabling practice mode is a pretty dick move, especially since Many levels nowadays basically revolve around practice mode since they're impossible to sight read. So, yeah. Don't disable practice mode unless you want to be like a really, really big meanie. Anyway, so we'll start by setting up the teleport portals. So we'll place them right at the beginning of the level, uh, fine tune them a little. Sorry if I'm a little slow with the editor since I make on mobile, so I don't really know all the shortcuts and anything. Uh,. So I'll stick it up there, and then I'll copy and paste it again, and move a second one down like that. Uh, it's good to bring them as close as possible, but if you bring them too close, you'll instantly teleport before you can actually pick anything up. So I'm going to move it over just a little to be safe. Uh, then I'm going to make these follow you on your x-axis. So I'm just going to chuck in a move trigger. Nope, not there actually. Uh, at the very beginning, set that to your player speed, and so yeah, you'll notice I quickly jumped back and forth. I'm gonna move this a little because I'm a little skeptical. Uh, yeah, so that is a start. Anyways, now we will add the skull or collectible. Technically, you could just check if you like collide with a trigger or something, but I find it's easier to work with these kinds of things. So I'll just place one down, scale it up just so it's easier to trigger, and then there we go, you do indeed pick it up. So I'll make sure that follows your x-axis as well. So now let's place this, let's just put a spike under you through the whole level, and we'll make it I'm not really sure what the best way to kill the player is, so we'll just make it sweep up across the whole level. So let's this will be the trigger that activates uh, number two. It'll just move up really high at a what's a fast enough speed that it'll make sure to cover the whole level. Let's just do 0.5. Uh, I actually survived that. So yeah. There we go, if you, that spike will fly up. So now we'll set that to only happen if you get the skull. So we'll give this trigger a group, oop, three, and set that to spawn. If you go to edit special, you can make it act like a toggle trigger. So I can make that activate three, and then when I get the skull, it instantly kills me. So now, uh... I'm going to make that only function when I want it. So I would just do that by putting the skull up there and then moving it down after a little bit. So maybe once you pass here, it'll drop down one, two, three, four, four blocks. And 
There. So, you shouldn't be able to get up there. If your level covers a lot of height, uh, you can move this really, really, really high up. This definitely works a lot better in game-like levels because otherwise things get a little weird with height limits and stuff. So you'll notice you quickly get teleported up and then down, and that probably looks a little bit strange in playtest mode. So that's another reason I don't suggest doing this unless you're making a game level. So if I do that, you'll notice I quickly got teleported up and down. Tell you what, let's make these invisible as well. Uh, just chuck in an alpha trigger, set that to 5, invis invisible, and the skull as well. Perfect. Uh, so that actually should be it. So if I place some spikes and stuff over here, and you play the level, go into practice mode, you'll notice I was perfectly fine at the beginning. Drop a zillion checkpoints and jump into a spike. Oop, a bit of a rookie mistake. I think the level height limit kind of messed things up a little bit because this is no longer four blocks. So I'll just have to drop the teleport portals down a little bit. Bug fixing is a big part of making levels. All right, that should do it. So here I am again. I'll just place a million checkpoints, run into a spike, and there you go. Uh, I am collecting the skull when I respawn, and that causes it to instantly kill me. So in the quiz level it is different because it pops up that screen before killing you, but that's pretty easy to do since instead of making a spike kill you as soon as the skull is collected, it just activates a spawn trigger and does some stuff. And yeah, there you go. You have successfully disabled practice mode in your level because you are an evil little son of a... Uh, seriously, don't abuse this. It's not cool. Anyways, yeah, thanks for watching. If there's any other editor stuff you'd like me to cover, just comment it below.